Okay, so changing the oil today. Did simple one. Ordered this filter. Um, this seems to be pretty good value for money. Um, same as any oil. In fact, it looks rather reminiscent of the uh, Land Rover <laughs> um, oil filter, doesn't it? Which, of course, has a few BMW bits inside it. Um, this filter also comes with the gaskets like you'd expect, but they also give you a copper washer. Sorry for the noise. So let's get on with it. It's handy, isn't it? Okay, so today we're doing an oil change. I just need to get underneath the front of the car to drop the oil out. Now there is a central jacking point right underneath the front, but even though I've got a fairly slim line trolley jack, I can't really get underneath to it. So I'm jacking up on uh, on the side jacking points and then putting axle stands under the front. So with the car up on ramps, I just had a quick look underneath. Um, since I've never had a Beamer before, just trying to figure out where things are. I'd watched a video on doing the oil change. Something that just caught me a bit um, by surprise. The sump plug is seems quite far back underneath because I'm looking all the way under here. That's the central jacking point just there, but by the way, that's just what I couldn't get to. Uh, my trolley jack to to, uh, to lift by. I expected the sump plug to be somewhere around here, you know, wheels are here. And I thought, oh, okay, that's a bit unusual because I was expecting this little round thing with a nice hole. It's further back, there. So it's actually sort of behind the front axle uh, where the sump plug is. That was just slightly surprised me. And uh, so we're just gonna twist it open and have a look now. So it says open. Okay, I don't know if you can see there. There's the, uh, the very oily drain plug. What size does it look like? Maybe 16 mil, I'm not sure, let's have a look. There we go, 17 mil. For reference, probably could have looked that up, couldn't I? Right, there's not loads of space under it, but let's uh, loosen it off now. I always like to loosen off the filler cap up top as well. There we go. Okay, so while the engine oil is draining off, we've got the engine cover straight off the top, nothing else to remove. And just like with the Range Rover, the uh, oil filter is in the side. The engine in the same place, it looks the same as well. The fitting is a little smaller than on a Range Rover engine. Uh, it's a 27 mil socket that you'll need to get that off which we have here and a little extension so let's loosen this up now there we go wasn't on too tight now we'll loosen it and pull it out a bit and uh, hopefully some of that uh, oil will just start to drain off before we get it everywhere get some paper towel down in a sec see there this is the shape of the filter it's got this little nozzle 
that uh, seals in. There's a little O-ring on there. Uh, exactly the same as the 3.6 TDV8 on the Range Rover. Okay, let's get this out. Okay, so this is the little packet that comes with the kit. The new filter, it's already got this little O-ring on the uh, fitment there. All we're gonna do is rub a little bit of oil on there before we put it in. There's our sock plug. And there's our copper O-ring to go on it. One thing I did notice, no copper O-ring on here at all when I take it off. So, um, leads some, leaves some questions as to the competency of the last person who changed the oil. Anyway, that's why I'm doing it, really. The, uh, the iDrive doesn't seem to think it needs an oil change, but uh, I don't care. Okay, ready to go back on. I can't remember if this unscrews or just pulls off. Pull it a bit harder, weakening. Right. Okay, so there's the old o ring. enough oil on my fingers there to just lubricate it a bit. New filter on, back in it goes. Just have to line it up to the hole correctly so that it goes in in the right way. And, uh, 25 newton meters it gets tightened up to. Enough. At the end. Right. There's our new drain plug. Let's get it all put back together. I'll tell you what, there's not a lot of space under here. No, it's much space at all. Finger tight. Let's move this out of the way. There we go. Let's turn it on. Okay, let's press the reset button. Ah, 
Aha, front brake pads reset impossible. Rear brake pads reset impossible. I did that the other day, pre delivery check. Engine oil reset possible. So we're going to hold that down. Perform reset, hold it down again. Reset in progress. And that should reset our engine oil. There we go. So it looked as if uh, engine oil had been done 3,000 miles ago. Whether it had or not, I don't care. I'm just glad I've done it now. We're reset, ready to go. Done. So I just started the engine. If we go to the vehicle settings, we can check. I've already checked with the dipstick, and that's about right. It is, it's just under max where I've set it to. And I'm happy with that for now. We should run it a little while. I could always top it up so it's at max, but I'm happy with uh, sort of 75% of max. Real.